This is the solution to written homework 59. Okay, so the rational zeros theorem is telling us that the possible zeros are plus or minus a factor of uh, 1 divided by a factor of 1. So these, this one right here, is from the constant coefficient. And this one right here is from the leading coefficient. So this is plus or minus 1. So negative 1, positive 1. <clears throat> OK, so let's try them out. Try one first. So if I plug in, uh, so I'll try one. So then the coefficients are one, negative three, one, and one. Okay. So then carry this down one, and then multiply, add, multiply, add multiply, add. So the fact that we got a 0 means that we guessed correctly on the first try. So f of x is x minus 1 multiplied by that. So that would be uh, x squared minus 2x and then minus 1. <coughs> So then this, the fact that when we plug in 1, we get 0, that's telling us that this is one factor, and therefore the quotient is the other factor. Okay, so now <clears throat> let's continue factoring this. So this is a quadratic. Can we use the... Um, product sum rule. Two numbers whose product is negative 1 and whose sum is negative 2. Okay, so I can't think of uh, two numbers off the top of my head to do that, which means that we need to resort to the quadratic formula. So we'll factor we'll factor uh, x squared minus 2x minus 1. In fact, we don't even want to factor it. The question says find the zeros. That's even easier. We'll find the zeros of this, and we'll do it with the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and then all of this divide by 2a. So on this specific exercise, that would be negative negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared uh, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, divide by 2 times 1. OK, so doing this arithmetic, negative negative 2 is 2, and then plus or minus. That'd be 4 minus negative 4. So 4 plus 4 is uh, 8, so square root 8, and then divide by 2. But the square root of 8 uh, is that is 8 is 2 times 4, and that's under the square root, so that 4 can come out as a 2. So this would be 2 plus or minus 2 square root 2, and then all of that over 2. 
and then those can be canceled. So that 2 over 2 is 1, and then that 2 over 2 cancels, plus or minus the square root of 2. So that means that the zeros are 1 <coughs> is a 0, 1 minus the square root of 2, and 1 plus the square root of 2. So those are the zeros of f. Now we want to find the zeros of g. Okay, again, the rational zeros theorem says that if there are any rational zeros, it must be plus or minus a factor of 12 divided by a factor of 1. So the 12 comes from the constant term. And the 1 comes from the leading coefficient. So the factors of 12, these are over 1. So that's, that's what's nice about having a monic polynomial. Uh, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So there are, uh, without the plus or minus, there's six possibilities, so there's 12 possibilities altogether. So now it's time to start guessing. Okay. So I'm going to guess 1, because that's the easiest to start with. Okay, so then 1, negative 2, negative 7, 8, 12. Okay, so carry the 1 down, and then multiply, add, multiply, add, uh, multiply, add, multiply, add. Okay, so we got 12. <clears throat> okay, so that's that's not going to work. <clears throat> so let's guess how about negative 1. It's negative 1. One, negative two, negative seven, eight, twelve. Okay, so carry the one down and then multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply. <coughs> uh, so negative, oh, so that'd be positive three. Add, multiply, add. Okay, so that's not it either, but we got a little closer that time. So the fact that it's 1 means that I'll try something close to negative 1, so I'll try negative 2. So I'll try negative 2. So negative 2, and then the coefficients are 1 negative 2, negative 7, 8, 12. So carry the 1 down and then multiply, uh, sorry, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Okay, so did I do that right? Multiply, add. No, I, that's not right. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Okay, so all of that's not right. Okay, so try that again. So negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 and then add, 
and then multiply add and then multiply add okay so we got a zero so that's good So that's telling us that g factors in this way. So it's x plus 2, and then multiplied by x cubed minus 4x squared uh, plus x plus 6. So we partially factored g. And now we need to continue factoring the cubic. So we're going to perform the rational zeros theorem on the cubic. So that means plus or minus factors of 6 divided by factors of 1. Well, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And because we already tried 1 and negative 1, in fact, we don't need to try them uh, anymore. So now we start guessing. Okay, so uh, I tried negative 2, I guess I'll try 2. So these coefficients, 1, negative 4, 1, 6. So carry and then add, multiply, add, that's it, sorry. Multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Oh, we got another zero. Okay, that was good luck. So that means that we have further factored g of x. So the we have the x plus 2 factor already from up above. We just picked up this factor, x minus 2. And now we have this factor, x squared minus 2x minus 3. So now we've come down to a quadratic. And we can now ask ourselves, selves, uh, is it possible to factor this with the product in some formula. So can we think of two numbers whose product is negative 3 and whose sum is uh, negative 2? Oh, wait a second. So if that's the case, <clears throat> then that would be so whose product is negative 3 and whose sum is negative 2. So that would be x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 1. But if that's right, then that means I made an error here. So carry, multiply, add. Ha! Huh. Yeah, there's an error right here. So that's wrong. So if I hadn't made that mistake, I could have finished the problem two minutes ago. So negative 1 times negative 3 is in fact not 4. So that's wrong. But I'll leave this in the in the video so that you can see uh, how that kind of error can occur. But this is the answer.